Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to the channel. It really means the world to me. Uh, it's really exciting times here. We're getting ready to start the cabin build. My dad and I just marked the first corner here and we're getting ready to start stacking these blocks. Um, we both have basic knowledge of, uh, of block work, but it's not rocket science, guys. You can learn how to do all this stuff on YouTube. Um, my dad used to be a Mason's helper, I think, maybe for a summer or two back when he was a teenager. And, uh, you know, he's done a little bit of this stuff even over the years for himself, just kind of like what I'm doing now. And so uh, I mean, I might not be the quickest, um, but again, it's not always about being the, you know, saving time and saving money. It's just about enjoying the process and enjoying the build and spending some time, um, you know, with people that are important to you. And uh, so hopefully you guys are, will enjoy this and uh, try to try to, you know, have a little bit of education moments in here when I can, although I'm not a block mason and don't ever claim to be. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Uh, we're doing a whole camp build, not just this cabin, but a 40 by 60 pole barn. Um, and this cabin, uh, is 30 <clears throat> by 20 with a five foot porch. And we have the well house build already on here on YouTube and the shed build mostly on here already. So make sure you guys check those out. And, um, we're going to go ahead and start, uh, start stacking here. All right, friends, I'm going to walk you back to the project here and just kind of show you what we got accomplished today. Uh, my dad and I did set, uh, we set three columns. And, you know, we try to get done what we can. We come up here, whether it's just me by myself or both of us. Uh, you know, again, if you're familiar with the channel, you know, we're kind of building this camp in my spare time. Uh, so we got three columns set here to height. And I'll show you a little more details on this stuff. Uh, as we move forward through the video, make sure you guys stick with us. We're going to fill these things solid with concrete at the end of the video. I think you'll enjoy that. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Right here, I had a couple rebar out of place here. Just missed it by an inch or two. So I'm going to drill those and epoxy those in later. And uh, that's just going to happen sometimes. No big deal. And um, yeah, just uh, showing you the rebar in here. I'm going to have to extend that up to the top and uh, that's going to be a job trying to get down in these columns, but uh, we'll get her done, get these things poured and uh, just taking it for a little uh, panorama here at camp. Make sure you check out the other videos on the page. We're going to do a 40 by 60 pole barn up in this clearing that's right there. Uh, got the campers over that side right now. And uh, I got the well house there in the background that builds on YouTube. And uh, yeah, Florida wilderness, guys, Northwest Florida. Hope you're enjoying. Hey, what's up, everyone? Back up here at the investment camp. It's a beautiful April day. Probably only going to have another three weeks of weather like this, and then it's going to start getting super steamy and hot. Uh, so, man, thanks so much for coming back to the channel. Guys, if you haven't been watching all the Campbell videos, they hear on the channel. But today, uh, if you watched the last video, we're still stacking blocks. So put in about a half day yesterday and a uh, full day today. Let's walk back to the job site, see what's going on. Let's do it. Got Mike Senior back here cleaning up a little bit. Hose coming back to mix mud. Coming from the well house. If you haven't watched the well house building video, guys, it's here. Cleaned out the barrel. 
Got about five more columns to stack tomorrow, but we're getting there. As I mentioned, uh, these front ones here are actually the front of the porch. There's the front of the cabin, front right corner. Using the tractor to haul in blocks here. These things are pretty heavy, so anything you can do when you get old to help, helps. Uh, obviously guys, as I mentioned before, this ground is not even. So we chose to just set the blocks to height, which means you're gonna have to cut each one. As you can see here, we have cuts at the top to meet the elevation. The only other way you could do it is if you leveled each footing pad, which would have been a nightmare. You gotta dig way down. It just doesn't make any sense. So the way you do that is you just uh, cut the top block to where you need to be. And the way we're doing that is with the Bosch laser level. And then we just shoot it with the stick, get our height. But we've got this whole side set. Uh, I'll walk back here so you can kinda maybe get a visual on it. All right, so I got the whole side set. Got one more to call to do over there, but we're just setting the middle ones now, and I got one more to do in the middle in the back there. But um, yeah, just mixing up some uh, Type S and M mortar and uh, trying our best at some block work. Obviously, I don't do this for a living, but uh, obviously, with anything you do, guys, it gets a little quicker as you go and uh, things are going pretty good now so we'll finish up these last five columns and then what i'm going to have to do probably is extend the rebar out a little bit i think you can see that in there because it doesn't extend up the whole way i gotta ask my engineer actually I'm not, if you know maybe leave a comment down below but i think i'm going to extend that a little bit so it gets up to maybe like a three inch cover and then we'll go ahead and pour all these things solid getting ready for the floor foundation uh I think I told you I was going to show you. We set everything off of that benchmark. So I had a surveyor come and give me a benchmark, which was at 1902 feet. We could set our laser level off of that. I think on my permit, I had to be like 23 feet. So obviously that's why these are up so high. All right. Thanks for joining us guys. And, um, build up these last five tomorrow and hopefully, uh, Catch a little fencing before I head out of here. Take care. Okay, here's just a little bit of bonus footage. Uh, <clears throat> I always like to try to show you guys as much as I can in case you do want to attempt something like this on your own. Um, we had uh, <clears throat> basically 15 columns there, so we were going to have to cut 15 blocks, the very last block. It was going to be virtually impossible for it to end up perfect with full blocks and it didn't so we had to cut 15 of these um i thought about renting a concrete saw uh buying a cheap one at harbor freight i think they're about 350 bucks or something like that but again i just i rarely do this kind of stuff so i had an old grinder i just bought a cement wheel for it and cutting these dry it was definitely messy but again we're outside and was able to really have most of it blown away from me, but did, <coughs> excuse me, wear a mask there. And um, it only took maybe three minutes to cut each of these blocks. So um, this is how we ended up doing it once we got the final measurement for the top block to get them all to the finished floor elevation. So, again, just a little bit of bonus footage there and um, moving on. And a little more bonus footage. Uh, this is how we dealt with the Florida sun here when it started getting super warm. Just went ahead and moved the uh, canopy over under the stacks and uh, worked that way. All right, guys, here's a picture of the rebar that I had built. Um, these are 
I actually attached to the rebar that was down in the columns because we ended up being higher and had to extend these up. You can see the hooks there on the end that my engineer called for. And um, I apologize, didn't get any video of me installing those, but it would have been real tough. I was up on a stool and kind of bent way down those columns attaching these things. It wasn't fun. But anyways, got her done. And uh, that's what it looked like. All right, and we have all 15 columns done. I finished the last couple by myself. My dad had to roll. And um, it's time to get this thing inspected and uh, get uh, the concrete truck in here. We're going to fill all these columns up with concrete. Hang with us, guys. You're going to see that here in a second. It's pretty cool. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, friends. This is actually a new uh, time-lapse specific camera that I bought and I'm gonna start using it more and more but just have a quick time lapse of pouring these footers here um, you can see we actually uh, formed up a little pad out front there that's where the stairs are gonna sit and uh, fill these bad boys up with concrete and there it is everyone I really hope that you enjoyed this uh, video of uh, stacking these pier block columns. Uh, it's the first time I've ever done it and definitely uh, learned a ton. And there's the pad for the stairs that's going to lead up to the front porch. And then uh, leaving you guys with a um, nice little drone shot of it all being done and poured there. So that's what the cabin's going to look like um underneath the floor. And uh, I will be seeing you all when we start this floor system. Again, it's midsummer super hot here in florida i'm not sure if we're gonna start <clears throat> uh, right in the middle here but finishing up a spec home if you haven't been watching the spec home video it's here on youtube and um friends i can't thank you enough for uh supporting the channel i'm real close to hitting the first milestone and um it just makes it all worth it and i appreciate all your comments and uh, let me know what I can do to improve or anything else you guys want to see. Until then, take care.